Christie, California Governor Jerry Brown spending six days here in China focusing on fighting climate change, including making a stop here in Beijing uh, for a clean energy conference. But he also had the chance to visit uh, with President Xi Jinping of China for about 45 minutes, uh, where the governor said they primarily talked about, as you might expect, fighting climate change. He also said they talked about making joint investments directly between China and California, and also about California's emerging electric automobile industry. And on its face, Christy, it might not seem that strange that the governor of California would meet directly with the Chinese leader, given that California in its own right is actually the sixth largest economy in the world. But the fact is, it is unusual for Chinese President Xi Jinping to meet with anyone not at the federal level. But here's the thing, the Chinese leadership and President Xi Jinping doesn't do things by accident. Governor Brown is one of the largest, uh, most vocal critics of the Trump administration's decision to withdraw from the Paris Climate Accords. He's been extremely vocal uh, both here in Beijing and back home in the United States since the Trump administration made that decision. And so what some analysts are saying is by taking that meeting with the governor, uh, the Chinese leader, Xi Jinping, is actually trying to send a thinly veiled message to the Trump administration saying maybe they didn't make the right decision leaving that agreement. Now, Governor Brown did say that President Xi did not specifically criticize the U.S. Uh, decision to leave the Paris Climate Agreement, and so we asked him why he thought that was. Why aren't the Chinese be being more critical, more vocal against the Trump well, administration? Well, first of all, it, it, just from a diplomatic point of view, uh, you don't meet the governor of the largest state of America and then criticize the president. Uh, I don't want to do that. And what we want to do is forge a partnership to deal with the existential threat to the world. Uh, this climate change is not about building your base. It's not about appealing to your party. It's about dealing uh, with the changes that humanity is facing. And those changes can be very bad or they can be very good. And California is certainly not the only state whose leadership say they are committed uh, to fighting climate change moving forward. In fact, the U.S. Climate Alliance, a uh, group started by the governors of New York and Washington, say that there are now 13 states in that alliance committed to continuing to fight climate change under the terms of the Paris Agreement and then some. And that is, of course, in direct opposition uh, to the Trump administration since they chose to signal their intent to withdraw uh, from the Paris Agreement. China at least appears to be willing to work with individual states when it comes to fighting climate change. And so whether that could get in the way between China and the U.S. being able to cooperate on other issues like national security or trade, well, that remains to be seen. Christy?